Uh, are you ready for me to say things? Welcome back to another episode of Drawing with Wade. I'm glad you could be here. Um, this is the third episode, and again, I'm going to preface this. I am in no way a professional. I am not educated in art. Uh, the only practice that I've had is at home, just drawing and learning organically by myself. Uh, so when I do say things, when I do make comments, they are based on my experience and uh, what I've learned over the years. That does not necessarily mean that they will work the best for you. Uh, that doesn't mean that this is the way it is and it's always going to be this way. Uh, some of the stuff I may be doing could even be wrong in some people's eyes. It may not make sense, but uh, it's just what works best for me. I had a really fun time making this drawing, so I thought I'd go ahead and share it with you guys. So let's get into the video. All right, so first off, I'm drawing the head and the ears. Now, I had some trouble with the ears. Uh, they were a strange shape. It's sort of like a Shrek ear. Uh, rhinos have very peculiar ears. Uh, I was having some difficulty making it the right shape. Then I get the, the jaw. Uh, after I got satisfied with everything, I started the horn, and the second horn, I used the select tool to sort of move it around and shape it whichever way I needed to, uh, to, to make it look nice on the snout of uh, the rhino, and I'm just going through and touching up right there. Next we make the eye. The eye was a little bit difficult. Um, I wanted to get the shape right. I wanted to make sure that the pupils looked right and that they looked cartoony. That's one of the things that I enjoy is making that sort of weird 1930s style cartoon character drawing. All right, uh, next is the jaw. I had a lot of problems with the jaw, actually. Getting it right, getting the proportions of the jaw right, making sure that it had the relative relatively the same thickness throughout um, then I'm going through and I'm shaping the body up and I'm making sure that I get satisfied with that I make the arms I go back and I change the arms because they they didn't really have much substance to them uh, so I do end up changing that then I'm working with the uh, nostrils uh, I ended up giving up on those for for that moment uh, I worked on the ear a lot. I fidgeted with it a whole lot. It was kind of difficult to get the canal straightened out. I had a lot of trouble with that in particular. But uh, as I went through, I got the shape down more and more. And it started to look better. Now I'm starting to fill in the colors. I go with off-white for... Uh, the you know, rhino's horn and teeth because it's that ivory it and the, it's sort of got like a greenish tint so I went with like a greenish white uh now i'm doing the nostril again and i eventually find one that i'm satisfied with i find a shape that i'm satisfied with and uh there it is uh i i do end up closing it in and stuff like that but uh that comes later right there I am working with uh, shading it in, making shadows, uh, emphasizing which places look like which uh, lines. Let's let's go with they look like uh, there's some depth to them, and that's that's what I was working on. Right there, working with the shadows again. Uh, was going to redraw the arm right there. I decided against it for then, for that moment. Uh, now I'm going in and shading. My method to shading, and my advice to you if, if you choose to take it, is um, I use three colors. I use a base color, and that's, that's the lightest color. That's the one that uh, sort of pops out the most, and that's the brightest one. Then I go with a, quite a dark color uh, compared to what I would normally use for uh, like a body and I go in and shade 
and uh, I make sure that the shading looks right uh, the shapes all flow and they don't look weird uh, I go back to the arm right there um, but again on the shading uh, I make sure that everything looks right and uh, it all looks like the lines lead somewhere like it doesn't just stop at the black lines it, it sort of keeps going and that's what I'm doing like near the neck you can see it it's sort of emphasized more and then um, the third and final color that I use is like a lighter in-between color and I make sure that that one is uh, probably the most used uh, because I do want to add depth to the places that might not even have shading or might not even need it uh, it sort of adds a curve to your drawing it sort of adds depth like I was talking about earlier to an otherwise like flat drawing and uh, I, I just enjoy using that a whole lot more right there I'm working on the cheek shading it in uh, I do that a couple times it it takes me a while to get used to the shading that I was doing but uh, I figured it out and um, right there I'm reworking the nostril sort of making it more emphasized and uh, sort of black lining it I fill it in for for a little bit because I don't know why but that part in particular I had a lot of trouble um, working with then I chose a pink because I wanted to make her uh, cheeks sort of pinkish and blushed um, I go through and I'm, I'm working the eyes trying to make those kind of sparkly and like oh <laughs> I don't even know what you would call it but um, yeah trying to make the eyes have a little bit of uh, life to them sort of make her look like she's looking at something that she's enjoying or looking at something that uh, makes her happy or something like that because I didn't want to make this uh, sort of a happy drawing with the smile and the cheek and uh, I just thought that it would be fun to do um, and then I'm, I'm going through with that third color I did the top line on the head if you can see that that added that sort of depth that I was talking about and I'm working the ear again uh, making sure that it looks right I did it backwards at first I did the uh, the darkest up top which didn't really make sense uh, or I did the darkest down below which uh, didn't really make sense for how the ear is turned uh, because light would sort of hit the back because it's turned forward a little bit um, so I, I made sure that I fixed that and I made the darkest color uh, up top then I, I'm going through and shading the horn I'm using the same method and also you want to stick to the same palette uh, that you were choosing so like I'm going through with somewhat of a greenish gray um, but it's still in that same palette as the horn so it looks like shadow uh, more than it does like a completely different section of the horn right there I'm going through the teeth making sure they look nice uh, sort of getting that shape down I make the lines less dramatic afterwards uh, I go through and redo them but um, eventually I do get satisfied with how those look I just brightened uh, the teeth a little bit and then I'm going back through and I'm lightening up the uh, uh, creases or the cracks in between the teeth so it wasn't as dramatic I was really happy with this drawing after I finished it. I'm really proud of this one. Uh, I thought it looked really good. And um, so yeah, here's the finished product. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you had a great time because I had a great time making it, had a great time drawing Rachel. And uh, yeah, I guess that's it. If you found this video helpful, uh, awesome. If you didn't, that's fine. If you enjoyed it, 
Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you didn't enjoy it, thank you for watching anyways, and thank you for humoring uh, my lack of artistic knowledge, even if I was using the wrong method. Uh, thank you for everything. You guys are awesome. I love you guys so much. Have an amazing day. Oh, we almost forgot something very important, Wade. Thank you for liking, commenting, sharing, subscribing. Thank you for turning on notifications, especially so you know when I post next. Now, have an amazing day, and I'll see you next time.